This one's called Fire in the Hole. Okay, so um, this goes way back to stuff that I pretty much I had left school a few years, was in college, um, you know, just find me way in life, um, getting up to no good with the lads um, here, there and everywhere, but just having a, having a really good time as a, as a, as a teenager. Anyway, um, it's mad what, you know, certain, how, how certain things can influence you. And uh, some of them influences, uh, you know, you've got to be careful what you take from them. Um, now, I must say before I go any further, uh, please don't try this at home um, if you are seek professional advice. So, there was a guy called Gene Simmons in a band called Kiss. I don't know where you know them. If you don't, go and look them up. You'll see him. He's meant to be a fire-breathing um, demon. Uh, anyway, Gene at certain point in the set of what they were doing when they were like, uh, they would, he would come out with a big like sword sort of lighted, lit, sorry. <laughs> and um, he would he would breathe fire, he would go and it, this big fireball would come off, you know? And it was just, it was just like, wow, what the fuck was that, you know? It was just, it was just amazing, you know, just, just watching him do this. And he would ram the stick into this like uh, sand, uh, bucket or whatever and uh, you know look at the crowd like some sort of uh, crazy crazy uh, person going there you go man I breathe fire and uh, you know I, it, got, it got in my head in a, in a massive way that did I don't know why it just did and I just thought I, I want to do that I, I want to breathe fire you know um, and so what I done was, uh, at the time, way back in the day, there was what they called lighter fuel. And the lighter fuel, uh, you know, f obviously filled up the cigarette lighters and that obviously made them, when you click them, the flame came out. So what I thought, I thought, okay, I'm gonna get that. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit in my mouth and I'm gonna put the lighter up, click the lighter and I'm gonna go and see what happens. So I grabbed the, it was like a yellow can type thing with a with a sort of red nozzle. Um, I think you could undo the nozzle, which I think I was doing, and I would do it. Or in the end, I was just squirting it in. Whatever, I can't, I can't remember exactly the technique, but anyway, I would get it in my mouth. So I thought I'll go back my mum's as I went down the yard, right the yards at that time, out of sight, out of mind, no one there. Put a little bit in my mouth, got a cigarette lighter, I'll click the light, flame came on. And I blew at it, you know, and there was this woof. It's this like little fireball. And I was like, fucking whoa. I was like, yeah, you know, come on, you know, I was buzzing. I, I mean, it, I mean, you talk about buzzing. I mean, I was proper fucking buzzing, you know. I thought, nah, I need to do that again. So anyway, puts a little bit more in and put, gets a cigarette out, clicks in. And I was like, whoa, yeah. Fuck, I come on down. I thought, unbelievable, man, unbelievable. I, I, I couldn't get my head around it that I actually could do it in like no time whatsoever. And I thought, wow. So as a few weeks went by, I didn't tell anyone. And I sort of practiced. I sort of, you know, found out what amount I would put in and what, you know, how big I could get them within reason without it getting out of hand type of thing. And I sort of got a happy medium where I felt, I'm pretty cool at doing this. I, I know where I'm at with it. Uh, and But what happened was, I became addicted to it. I, I just, I knew I, I just had to keep doing it. I, I don't know where I was. And at the time we were out doing some like parties and with the lads and different things and we're going to different places. And, and basically, uh, I think it was at a party one night there. Uh, we all spilled out into the garden and we're all out there just having a good time and that. And I just put some in my mouth without anyone really knowing. Clicked the lighter on and went. Well, honestly, fuck me. People, the people around were like, whoa, what the fuck? They couldn't fucking believe them. Like, yeah, no way, no way, do that again, do that again. And I was going, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, what the fuck? What you, how are you doing that? How are you doing that? And I was saying, oh, it's just, just, you know, a bit of fuel and I put it in my mouth. Do it again, do it again, anyway, do it again. And then we're just like, fucking, whoa. Oh, and that is fucking insane because I think it was quite dark at the time so, so that the, the look of what they must have been seeing was like fucking 
nothing short of insane. So I'm, I'm loving this because I'm thinking, fucking everyone's like, you know, full attention on me and, you know, ego, isn't it? Back in the day and I'm thinking, fucking ego to do with this. It, it's just mental when you think and you go back and you, you just, what you get up to, for to get a buzz and for to get people's attention is just, just ridiculous, you know. But anyway, um, so I'm literally at this point, I'm literally blowing fireballs out my ass, you know. I mean, Game of Thrones, it was not even thought about and trust us at that point I was a dragon you know um, <laughs> it's just just unbelievable so anyway I'm getting super confident people are going how have been blow fireball blow fucking fireball you know and so squirting and then we're like and I, I could I was getting these on repeat I was like literally as one went out I was taking on that some more fuel I, I was just, it was just getting fucking out of hand, you know. So anyway, uh, not at one point, by the way, uh, did did it ever, did did it ever have any uh, dangerous, any effect to us whatsoever at, at that point. It just nothing, not even the slightest worry that something would go wrong. And if you consider what I was doing, it's insane because, you know, um, I think to this day, uh, that stuff I was using was more like fucking rocket fuel. That with enough of it, it would, you know, it would get you to fucking France and back. Whereas what Gene was using was some sort of specialist sort of meths or whatever it was, and it wasn't as it wasn't as dangerous. And he was and he was greased up to a point where you know if it came back, it wouldn't burn and stuff like that. But but don't you know, clothes on, fucking all flammable. I don't know what it just just. I, for the whole experience up to this day where I'm just about to tell you about nothing nothing had ever ever went wrong so to say I was confident was the understatement of the year um so anyway we used to have uh, like sort of meetings and we used to get together and I you know put, put records on or whatever smoke a bit dope or whatever we were doing and we just have a good time lads would come up with me mums and we'd just you know have a have a good good sort of crack on and just uh, you know just chat away and it was a sunday i remember it vividly and uh, it was absolutely blown a gale outside i mean it was like it was dry but it was just you know proper proper wind city so the lads turn up and like how in you know i'm gets in the bedroom and I'm saying, oh, I want to go on with a welly bro, a couple of fucking flames. And they're like, oh, where man, you fucking kidding, man? With that wind, you, nah, nah, it's fucking dangerous. Fuck. I was like, ah, fuck off, man. Be all right, be all right. You know, just some bit tough crap. But anyway, I thought, they're, they're probably all right. Like, I'll just leave it out, just leave it out. So anyway, we're cracking on there. And I decided to put a bit in my mouth without them knowing. Tricks the lighter on and goes in the fucking, in, in my bedroom at my mum's. Well, it went straight on the walls and fuck it. The, the fucking bedroom was like, I was like, oh, like fucking palms, like the fucking lads were like, fucking hell, Benny, what the fuck? And, and anyway, we're all trying to fucking get the fucker out, you know. I mean, luckily for us, the, it, we, we got rid of the flames, you know. And they were like, what the fuck are you doing, man? You mad fucking, you know, you for fucking real. And I was like, oh, look, I'm sorry, lads, I, I shouldn't have done that. I just, but this is how bad it was. It was, I was honestly addicted to it. Honestly, I, would, I couldn't help myself. I just, I, I just needed to do it, you know? And I thought, oh, I could control it. I'll just do a little and but it just obviously hit the fucking, the, the posters on the wall and the, that was it that was up, you know, the bedroom. And, you know, looking back now, it, it could have set fire at the bedroom. Where, uh, you know, yes, we would have got out of the house, but fuck me, that was, would have been fucking cinders in, in no time, you know, as it, it, it took, took sort of like stop with the whole the whole there uh, in my mom's house so to so to say you know what the fuck I was thinking there I, I I do not know I really don't but you know do you ever when you're in the zone of being addicted to something um do you I, 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 mean, I don't think you do but anyway so I set the lads up how oh, yeah, let's go outside man oh, well, we're going out the welly they were like, yeah, it's fucking windy, it's fucking I was like, look, it, it'll be okay, man, it'll be fine, man, how are we? So anyway, we get down on the welly, and I'm like, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know, you know, what was possessing us to go there that day. I just, I just thought, what the fucking hell, you, you know, just leave it out. You've just had a 
bit of a scare there. The first time probably ever I really thought, what the fuck did I do that for? So it gets on the welly, um, puts them in my mouth. There was Sean the drummer, um, we had a uh, point and bass player, and we had a guy called Darren Simon, Simon for short, um, on that day who, who was with us. So they were on the field, we were just yeah, whacking along and a bit tough laughing. I said, yeah, I'm gonna blow, blow a fucking ball. So I puts it in my mouth and uh, clicks a cigarette line on. I think, well, if I get the wind line and I'll blow away from the wind, everything can be fine. No, no, it's a bother. So, and there's fucking now, I'm like, yeah, what the fuck happened there? And they were like, yeah, what, what happened there? And I was, I was like, I tell you, nah, weird that. I said, I think the wind's caught it and like blew it away from the flame because obviously the fuel never hit the naked flame. There was no fire whatsoever. And I thought, oh, fuck's sake, you know. But so I thought to myself, I'm gonna have to put some more in my mouth, you know. And obviously that's probably the way forward. So I don't know whether you've been to Disney before and seen Chippendale, but yeah, fuck hell, me cheeks, you know. I would have done them them two while I was proud because they must have been out here with a fuel I put in. I mean, I, do, I don't even know what was possessing us to think to do that anyway. And and with a fuel in there, trust us, I could have gone in America and back. Just fucking got to Disney, but <laughs> yeah. So I clicked the cigarette light and I thought, well, the wind's blowing that way, so I blow it to the wind. It blew, blew like with the wind, so like it's coming away from us, and I just went <laughs> fucking on, fucking believable. Because basically, what happened was, or what I was looking at was this huge fuck off ball of flame heading back in my direction. I mean, this is happening fucking like. Like instantly, you know, because obviously the wind must have like changed as I blew it, and it just caught it and just brought all the fuel back to me, and just set us alight. I fucking swear, I was like, get out, get out, get out, get out, fucking, you know, fucking tapping everything, tapping everything, get out, get out. Couldn't fucking believe it. I was like, no fucking way. I'm a fucking, I'm on fire. I'm on fucking fire. So, um, anyway, I'm obviously panicking. Um, from what, what I can remember and what I can gauge, uh, Simon was in total shock, he was just stood still. So Sean, but Point reacted, he took his coat off. And basically, a bit like when you get a dead leg, I was, um, I was running, running around like I had that because I'm like, oh, get out, get out, you know, trying to put myself out because I could fucking see the flames all over us. And point like ran, rugby tackled us to the ground and put the coat over and boom, 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 banged us out. Anyway, pull the coat, oh yeah, yeah, I read. Uh, I've got the flames, the flames have gone. Anyway, I, uh, honestly, at that point, I just went, what me fucking, Honestly, my face was just on fucking fire. It was on fire. I mean, to, to try and sort of, you know, give you some indication of that, and I don't want you to do this, but if you, if you ever, if, if you struck a match and stuck it on the end of your finger, that's what was happening to me times a thousand. And trust us, it fucking knacks. And that's not just when you touch it first, but when you leave go, the, the sting and it, it's hard to explain. It was just, I, I was just fucking honest. I didn't know what to do with myself. And I was like, I was like, I'm fucking doing that. And they were like, fucking hell, Benny, man. Fuck me, look at the fucking, I'd lost my fucking eyebrows. My, my fucking hair was just off, you know, I was all burnt up. I must have looked at a fucking right mess and I was wondering, we're going to have to go to Joe's, we're going to have to go to Joe's and I need to fucking cool me face down, it's fucking on his ears on fire, lads, it's on fire. So anyway, the, the Joe lives over the road from me, me mum in, in the same court, so I knocks on the foot and the lads are knocking on the door and I'm trying to fucking hide behind them. Yeah, mum, no, no, she's not in there. Can, can I use a fucking, can I get into your fucking bathroom? I need to put me out. Like, Joe's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I've bumped me face, I've bumped me face. Anyway, I get some sink fills with fucking water puts me fucking face I was like oh. you know trying to fucking breathe I was like, oh. put me <laughs> put me face in the basin 
because my face was just fucking on fire, you know. It's a bit like, again, you burn it with the end of the match, you put it in, the, the cold water gives the relief, but the minute you take it out, it just comes fucking back instantly. I was like, no, no. And I was thinking, I need to go and fucking tell me mum, because you know, as you always do, you always want to come back to your fucking mum. But I was like, what the fuck, what do I tell her? So we made up a story quick. I said, look, lad, I'm just going to stay at her. What other upon you? Someone's put some fucking fuel on the fucking fire. It, without me seeing it, I'm on the other side and it's blew back in me fucking face. So anyway, go and see me, knocks on the door, goes to walk in, mum comes over, what, what the fuck? Ah! She, honestly, her, her face was just like, when she just went to the lady, went, what the, what, what's happening, what's happening? So obviously, Taz, oh, you need to get out of the hospital, you need to get out of the hospital. I can't even remember, I think, I think she might have phoned a taxi or something, anyway, we're fucking down there, and Simon says, I'll jump in with you, um, and point show and shot off. Anyway, gets down to the hospital, Simon's dad must have got word, and next thing I know, he was up at the hospital going, son, you fucking get away from him, he's a fucking lunatic, you know, and I was like, what? I was like, sorry, she had to give us comfort, but I could understand it looking back now, he must have thought, what the fuck, you know? I'm not I'm not letting him hang around with people like you, you're fucking crazy, look at the state, you and I thought, fucking, give us a fucking break, man, and he fucking face was just melting all over the fucking hospital, I was like, why are you, you know, I mean, fucking gives a bit of fucking positivity, like, so anyway, I got my name called out, went in, and the painted us up with this basically ultraviolet paint. <sighs> fucking, I mean it's done the trick, it sort of cooled everything off, to settle us down and, and they said look, you, you, this is going to scab up, you, you can't scratch your scabs and you know, you just going to have to let them heal naturally. And it was just unbelievable at the time. Um, but obviously, I got back home. My, my mum sort of like, look, where, where are you? And I sort of looked at it, I was just covered in this paint. Um, so, anyway, the, the next day, I thought, oh, I said, my mum, oh, I'm just going to take the week off. She went, you not take the week off, you can get yourself up the way outside college. So obviously, I was like there training up there in the college for decorating, <laughs> which was a bit something surreal, really. But anyway, what happened was, um, uh, I get on the bus going out in the morning, the fucking bus driver's looking at me, I was like, I'm like, are you fucking for real? It's like fucking about seven in the fucking morning, and I look like I've fucking been to a pain party, you know, and he must have been thinking, for fuck's sake, man. And I was like, oh, I'll bump yourself, mate, and he was like, fucking like, don't go and bump yourself, fucking pull the other one, it's got fucking bells on, you know, like that type of sort of thing. But anyway, I get on the bus, gets in, then me mates are ripping the fucking piss out of us, they're like, what the fuck, Benny, what the fuck's up with you? And I'm like, for oh, fuck's sake, you know, really? But anyway, cool long story short, um, I, it, it was on us for about maybe two, three weeks until eventually I'm going back for top ups. And uh, yeah, I've got a couple of like marks there that you can see from that. But basically, I've got to say how lucky I got because when, when I blew that ball of flame, I mean, and it come back at us and it, it was just horrendous to see but anyway when it when it come on to us I could have lost my sight you know I could have um it could have went back into me me lungs you know there was that much fuel in me fucking mouth I had to swallowed something and it ignited back it connected and burnt me fucking lungs out I mean to this day I don't think uh Gene uses the same stuff that I was using I think it's it's much more like you know it's all set up for that type of thing and like more safe uh, friendly safe even though you know i'm not saying you can't get burned from it but they've got like gels on and all that stuff and getting burned but daft don't and i, I i'd probably from all fucking clothes on and this like that <laughs> you're just looking thinking are you fucking mad and I, ju I just really got really lucky that i didn't get scarred from it like properly like physically like where you know there was proper degree burns where you know you, you, you melt shit you know your nose becomes melted or whatever you know it's just it was just i was very very fortunate um but it just goes to show you when you're influenced you know from something like that people say oh don't try, try this at home but the thing is it's so exciting when you're seeing that you think i, I want to do that you know i want to i want to be him i want to i want to do that so as much as that's probably not the right thing or the right way because you know i would say check check it out professionally and try and learn to do it professionally is a different situation 
Whereas me, I, I was DIY and because I got the confidence and I didn't, I didn't ever have a problem up until that day. And you know, I wouldn't know where it would have led to really because like I say, I was addicted to it. Um, but really since that day it happened, I've never ever done it again. I haven't got a fear of fire. Um, I go and see Ramstein. <laughs> so I, I, haven't got a, I haven't got a fear of fire, but it, God, fuck me, man. I don't want them. I don't want the feeling of what I feel like when fire gets on you, because it, it absolutely knacks. Uh, but also just, just mad, just absolutely like malice. But anyway, I, I hope you've enjoyed the story um, about fire and the hole, you know. And um, like I say, you know, uh, I think sometimes. You know, people never really know people, and you probably may be looking thinking, are you for fucking real, you know? What the fuck are you just said there? But it's true, truth and nothing but the truth, so until next time, God bless you.